Hi, I'm Mitch Shoemaker, and today is day 11 of my doing 100 days of YouTube videos and focusing on today. Um, so I made it to day 11. Yay. I noticed yesterday I said day 10. I remember saying day 10 in my video, and then I titled it day 7. <laughs> I kind of had to laugh at myself today when I changed that to day 10. Um, for anybody that saw it as day seven again. Um, anyway, this is day 11, and hopefully I title that correctly. Um, I, I had a pretty good, well, I guess emotionally fairly good day today. Um, I did have some negative thoughts that I was just kind of grateful I could push out of my head. Um, just, um, Mostly just because I'm exhausted. <laughs> just old, old things my my biological mom used to say, my my grandma used to say, and they just popped into my head, and I was like, I don't. Um, they would just always say, you know, when stuff would get hard or they would be sick or something, they would just say, shoot me, just shoot me now. <laughs> and uh, I used to say that. I used to think that all the time, and then I thought that today for like a second. And then I was like, um, no, I don't want to be shot right now. I don't want to die right now. That's just silly old thinking. I don't need to entertain that today. Um, and I'm grateful I, I didn't entertain that today. Um, I also, um, uh, my landlord, I told him that I was sick and, um, he offered um, to share uh, his Netflix with me so I'd have something to do so I wouldn't feel sorry for myself. And I just, I mean, I thanked him because that was a very kind gesture, obviously. But I was just um, surprised. Um, I don't talk to him on a regular basis, so it's not like he knows me or my emotional situation by any means. Um, but... I don't feel sorry for myself. I mean, I thought about it and I was like, do I feel sorry for myself? And I was like, no, I, I don't know why I'd feel sorry for myself. I not enjoying being sick, but I, I can't control it. So I'm trying to learn how to accept it. I'm trying to figure out how to best take care of myself. And even though I can't seem to sleep, I can lay down and I can just rest as much as possible and that's what I've been doing is pretty much laying and, and resting um, but I also noticed today that I'm not avoiding people um, or things um, normally uh, if my landlord were calling I would just ignore his call let it go to voicemail or something um, I would do the same with other other people because I just don't want to deal with reality or deal with life and um, I have the perfect excuse to isolate because I'm sick and instead I, I answered my phone and talked to my landlord. I answered the phone and talked to my sister today which was really nice. Um, talked to mom and dad shoemaker today and they even brought me dinner tonight and homemade bread which was really sweet of them. So um, made me very grateful that I answered my phone and, and talked to people. Um, so, but it was kind of a nice eye-opening thing for me that I'm not avoiding things today, even though I don't feel good. I still chose to respond to people. I chose to, um, I chose not to go to my class today, but I chose to send a text to the person in charge, letting them know that I wasn't going to go. Um, so I, I made choices to take care of myself, but I also chose to talk to other people because I think it's, it's good to talk to other people. It's, um, it's nice, even though I can't see them in person or whatever. Um, it's nice to, to talk to them, to hear another voice, to have that human connection. I think we all need that, and I'm grateful I was able to get some of that today. Um, I appreciated that. 
um, which was very nice. Um, and of course, my sister was, um, <coughs> excuse me, not very encouraging. I mean, she was she was honest um, because I have what she had um, like a month or so ago, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, goody. So she was just telling me how much worse I'm going to get before I get better. And I was just like, oh, I thought I would gonna get better already. But um, apparently, apparently not. Um, apparently it gets worse before it gets better. Like the end of the sickness is the worst instead of somewhere in the middle um, where it's like you go downhill and then you come back up and it's, you know, just a little smiley face kind of a thing. So I keep waiting for the uphill kind of a thing. And she's like, oh no, it just gets really bad. And then it stops. And then it takes you like a week to recuperate. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, fantastic. But um, I am grateful for her insights and at least grateful to have a conversation with her. She also um, pointed out some things to me, um, which was interesting. I, I wish I could remember how my sister words things. She knows stuff I don't know, <laughs> words and things that I, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, excuse me, um, she knows things I don't, I don't know, um, but she was talking about um, cultures, like positive um, communication cultures and negative communication cultures, uh, where I guess in positive cultures, like she said, the Hispanic culture, um, they just talk to people when they're upset or someone says something that bothers them they just get it right out in the open and they say whatever it is and they deal with it and then they move on um whereas the american culture is uh is a negative um communication culture where uh, we don't just say what we're feeling we make faces we have subtle um social cues um, that the other person's just supposed to magically pick up on and <coughs> and um, and then of course you know we hold grudges and all of that stuff and so we don't um, we don't just let it go um, and I've I mean I've obviously learned to try to just make the faces of people and hold on to stuff and been afraid to just say what I feel but um, my sister was so nice and pointed out to me that I'm one of those people that responds in a positive communication culture um, because I don't get social cues. So when people are upset or they just walk away or they make faces at me, I'm, I'm just confused and I don't understand or I, I'm completely oblivious to the fact that I may have said or done something that upset them. And, um, and not that I'm a huge fan of confrontation. I, I don't really care for that at all. Getting a little better at it. Um, but realizing that if someone were to come up and tell me that I did something or said something, that I would be more than willing to apologize, make amends, or at least explain my behavior, um, which I'm grateful I could do with my sister. Um, at one point in my life, we did not have that kind of uh, relationship where we could do that. Um, we were always taught to be on the defensive and <laughs> anyone saying anything was a personal attack. So I'm grateful I don't feel like anything being said was a personal attack. To me, it was more um, educational um, and realizing and I was able to explain um, my actions. And of course, my sister was like, yeah, in retrospect, I could see that and realize you didn't mean anything. And we were just you know, upset about whatever. And She's like, it's water under the bridge now, it doesn't matter. And I was like, okay, well, it's good information. And I'm like, in future, I'll try to do better, but <laughs> I can't make any promises. And she just laughed and she's like, no, it's just part of who you are and that's fine. Um, so in future, she basically has permission to just take me aside and say, I, you know, I'm saying something dumb or I'm doing something that's offended someone else and um, I need to make amends, apologize, or make a change of some kind or something. So um, I was, I am grateful for her insights and information, um, grateful for the opportunity to learn from 
from that experience, grateful to be able to have an open conversation with my little sister, which is something, like I said, we haven't always been able to do in the past. And I know there's still probably some topics of conversation that we're not able to um, discuss as openly. Um, but it was, it was nice to have a chat with my sister about things like that. Um, so I'm, I'm very grateful for that today. So, um, just grateful that somehow without trying, mostly because I'm too tired to try, um, I still managed to stay in today. Um, I was able to pray for an attitude of gratitude instead of, um, giving into the crazy thought of just chewing because I'm so not feeling good. Um, cause that doesn't solve anything. And I don't need to be in some place of self-pity. Um, I haven't been this entire time. And I shared that with my, my vision board friend and she just reminded me that this is an opportunity to see how far I have come, how much I have grown since I started doing these videos. And I realized that this would be the perfect time or opportunity for me to be stressing about money because I can't work while I'm sick or to fall into some state of depression, to shut people out, to not communicate with anyone. Um, and instead I have chosen to keep in contact with people. I have, I chose today to answer my phone. Um, I got free dinner out of it. Totally worth that. Um, so just feeling very, very blessed and very loved and very grateful for all of the positive insights today and the learning opportunities today and very surprised that um, I could have those insights, um, especially when I am not at full capacity um, and just, just very grateful for that. Um, and very grateful that I don't have to focus on being sick, that I can focus on things that are positive and focus on things that I'm grateful for. And um, that just, that makes me very happy in spite of being very sick. So, um, which is kind of a odd feeling for me. It's kind of one of those, um, I don't know, teeter, totter sort of things where one of those, um, I guess it's one of those shifting perspective things, uh, to realize that I can still be happy. I can feel grateful. I can feel loved even though, um, I feel sick. And for some reason, I think I have this dumb idea, <laughs> old idea. Um, well, one that being sick is a means to get attention, which, I'm trying not to use this as a means to get attention. Um, and two, um, that if I'm not getting said attention or whatever, that it, it means I'm not loved or um, that being sick is associated also with, you know, being depressed um, and shutting people out because if you're sick, you can't be around other people. You can't do fun things. You can't have things. Um, so a lot of um, negative attention, I think, was associated with with being sick. Um, and I'm, I'm grateful that I don't have to continue that. I don't have to feel negative. I don't have to feel depressed. Um, and not only do I not have to feel those feelings, I... I'm not feeling those feelings, um, which to me is, is amazing. Um, it's very amazing, especially since I've been, I haven't been taking my DDR prime or my vitamins while I've been sick because I'm very cautious about what I'm putting in my stomach right now because it's very sensitive. So, um, but I'm very grateful that again, I still feel positive, that I can still see um, good things, that I can still learn things, um, that I can recognize things in myself. Um, and 
and realize that, you know, I don't have to respond the way that I used to. Um, so just grateful for the opportunity to see something with a new perspective. Um, and grateful that God can still teach me and that I am being teachable, even though I am not um, feeling well. And very grateful that God is helping me to have the energy to do these videos because, in all honesty, I'm just, um, I'm sitting on my couch. I'm so ready to just uh, go to bed. Um, may or may not sleep, but I'm definitely going to bed when I am done with these videos. Uh, but I am grateful that I can make these videos. Um, and I hope that they're helpful in, in some way. Um, so you know that there's a way up, there's a way out, there's hope through our Savior Jesus Christ that you can find things to be grateful for or to be happy for even when you don't feel good, even when you can't do everything that you would normally do. And I'm, I'm very grateful for that. Um, so if you like these videos, if you think they're helpful, you can hit like, subscribe, share with someone else if you think they'll like them too. And I hope you have a great day full of gratitude and maybe do some writing. Thank you.